I am Sophie Crump, a Year 5 teacher from Burnham on Crouch Primary School, and this is my lesson on fractions. The main learning objective of this lesson is to get the children to understand that fractions are part of a whole and that different fractions are equal to each other. So before we start our lesson, in front of you, you've got a little piece of paper, and I want you to work with the person next to you and write down anything you already know about fractions. So in the beginning part of the lesson I get the children to write down everything they already know about fractions. This enables me to see where any misconceptions are and I can build on these throughout the lesson. What kind of words did we come up with? What we did is we, we wrote down some words like one quarter, one whole, one third and a half. Okay, excellent. When do we see fractions? Turn to the person next to you, think about wherever do you see fractions? Where do we see these halves? In this lesson I feel the children get the opportunity to work with each other and share ideas and often sharing those ideas they come across problems that they perhaps would not have if they'd been working independently. You get the right amount, yeah, the right amount to each stuff person. It's yeah, it's like, like a pizza. Yeah, and you can, you can even do it with like sweets, yeah. like with packets. Has anybody got any ideas where we see, not just in the classroom, but where do we see fractions? Cameron? You, like, see them in the shops, like, when it's half price. Excellent, really good example. OK, and we've been looking at some fractions and we know that it's one number on top of the, another number. Does anybody know what those numbers are called? The numerator and the denominator. Fantastic, excellent. Which one is which? The denominator is the bottom number and the numerator is the top number. Fantastic, excellent. Well done, Megan. In the second part of the lesson, I've asked the children to make their own fraction wall. I feel that by making the walls themselves embeds the understanding of the fractions. If they're making their own halves and their own quarters, they need to see that these are equivalent to the hole at the top. We've got our one hole here. What would our next one be if we split it, if we made it fractions? How many are we going to split it into? Dylan? A two. Excellent. Right, you are going to be working with the person next to you. I'll give you your piece of paper. And you may begin. Can you make here? Nicely. Excellent. You can't We need to put it equally. Alright. You can't do it in half because we're doing fifths. In this lesson, I have two LSAs working with me. One of the LSAs will be working with those children who find maths a little bit more difficult. She'll be encouraging those children to stay on task and develop their understanding of fractions. My other learning support assistant will be working with the more able maths students. These children will be extending their learning of fractions from shapes to fractions of number. It's OK, we've had eight bananas to start with. So do you think that we could equally share eight bananas between five of us? So eight bananas into fifths, could we do that? No. But did we manage to do it into quarters? Yes. So if I want any bananas, I can't have any then. The reason I developed this lesson was to try and overcome the problems that children sometimes have with understanding the denominator and understanding that the fractions are part of a whole. One half is the same as what? What have we got here, Josh? Two quarters. Fantastic, excellent. If we try another one, one half is the same as? One sixth. Oh, one sixth, this little bit. How many is there? Three sixths. Josh, look carefully. Oh, three. This is one half. Three sixths. Three sixths, excellent. And just to end our lesson off, I would like you to return to your pieces of paper. At the end of the lesson, I ask the children to refer back to the pieces of paper they started at the beginning of the lesson. Not only does this allow the children to feel a real sense of achievement as they're adding new things onto this piece of paper that they've learned in the lesson, it also gives me a resource that I can refer to to see what new areas the children have learnt and which areas the children are still a little bit unsure of. Equals, like, these have to be Each fraction equals one whole, so if you put ten tenths together or with one half, yeah, yeah, all, all the tenths would need to be equal. The reason I think that this lesson is a great lesson idea is that the children are all really engaged, enthusiastic, and I feel that it really deepens their understanding of fractions. They're able to see the different fractions. They're making the wall themselves. They understand that the fractions have to be part of the whole because they start with the whole in the first place. Mm -hmm.